Hi, this is Joe Herman. HP has introduced their new Z240 workstation with tower and small form factor models. Aimed at entry-level users, it's a natural choice for those starting out in the industry who are looking to do professional production and post work but may not have the budget for a top-of-the-line workstation. I caught up with HP at a new product event in New York where I was given a personal tour of the new machine. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Andrew Willard. I am a global product manager in the HP Z Workstations business unit. And today we're talking about the Z240, which is a new entry workstation product line that, that we just launched today. Um, so workstation customers are generally folks that are creating and designing content. And what the Z240 brings to the table is all the performance that you expect in a workstation, but at the price of a PC. So folks you know, that are prosumers are doing high-end work, um, that's entry CAD or photo and video editing, can upgrade to a workstation without having to sacrifice um, or compromise on their budget. Why don't we go ahead and, and take a look. So we've, we've integrated a lot of new innovations in the, the Z240 products for this generation. Um, one of them is, you know, we see a lot of our customers that are using their products under the desk or in dusty manufacturing environments. So on both the small form factor and the tower, we've integrated dust filters into the product. So on the tower, for example, if we just press on the front bezel, the dust filter will pop out. Uh, this is completely washable and reusable, so customers can blow with air or rinse it with water and put it back into the system. And the BIOS will actually warn the customer when it's time to look at changing their dust filter depending on their environment. One of the areas where HP Workstations has really led the industry in innovation is improving storage performance. And we've done that uh, with the HP Z Turbo Drive, which we introduced over a year ago. The HP Z Turbo Drive um, is a PCIe-based solid state drive, and the benefit of that is uh, you now get twice the performance of a SATA solid state drive at the same cost. What we did uh, just recently, a couple months ago, is we released Gen 2 of the Z Turbo Drive, which gives you four times the performance of a SATA solid state drive at the same cost. Um, and so what we've done though with the Z2 is traditionally folks that need that much performance um, but have to buy a Z2 class product have to make trade-offs with graphics or with Thunderbolt um, or with having another storage device. So instead of implementing the drive um, in a PCIe card, which is traditional right into a, a PCIe by four slot, we've actually integrated what's called an M.2 slot down on the motherboard of both the tower and the small form factor. This delivers you four lanes of PCIe by four and also frees up a PCIe slot. The benefit of inserting the Z Turbo Drive in the M.2 slot is that customers no longer have to make a trade-off with their configuration. So now they can do up to two Z Turbo Drives and they don't have to decide about sacrificing a graphics card or sacrificing a Thunderbolt add-in card in order to do that. So what we've done is, again, without raising the cost of the customer, enabled them to have more flexibility with their configurations. Some of the other things we've looked at is, you know, on our high-end workstations, we our users are very high-touch, um, and with our original Z workstations, we actually introduce, introduce integrated handles into the system so that our users could carry them around and move them back and forth. So what we're starting to see is that those innovations move down into our other products. So the Z240 tower, um, you can order a handle that goes into the front optical bay as standard, but also um, as every system that goes out the door will have a ledge on top of the front bezel and in the rear so that users can pick up the system without any issues and move them back and forth. Acoustics and thermals are very important to our customers. Um, so what we've done with the Z240 small form factor and tower is integrated uh, temperature sensors down onto the motherboard and also embedded a sensor into the fan of the Z240 tower's power supply. And what this does is this gives us complete control over the fans inside the system. So the customer can go into the BIOS and adjust the, the fan speed uh, depending on what their, their needs are in their environment. The innovation on the Z240 tower that we've introduced is to change one of the PCIe by one slots that was on its predecessor, the Z230, into a PCIe, PCIe by four slot. So now we have two PCIe by fours and one PCIe by 16, in addition to the M.2 slot for the Z Turbo. So now customers on the Z240 tower can configure up to two graphics cards with two HP Z Turbo drives and an additional Thunderbolt port without having to worry about making a trade-off. From a technology perspective, we're moving from DDR3 memory to DDR4, uh, which delivers 21 megahertz of speed and total memory capacity of 64 gigabytes as opposed to 32 gigabytes over the previous generation. All of our slots are now PCIe Gen 3, whereas in the Z230 generation, we had one Gen 3 slot and the rest were Gen 2.
Thanks for watching this report about the new HP Z240, an entry level machine that delivers powerful workstation performance. With a price point about the same as a desktop PC, the Z240 will fit in any budget, whether you're a video editor, animator, designer, or if you're a prosumer looking to step into the world of workstations. This is Joe Herman.